What is going on guys? Dorko back again. I hope you are fantastic today. Sorry about the bright screen. It's going to completely brightened up my room. So the green screen is going to go crazy. But this is the terrible old man. It looks pretty spooky. Once again, it's like a point and click thing. But you know what I mean. You'll see what I mean when we play it. So let's begin. Oh, okay. So Angelo, when are we getting to blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours drive to Boston. How long are we staying there for? Oh, I'd stay just a night. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham. That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know? Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, hasn't she? Incredible. Janik! Why don't you get over your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. You've still got some cash from the old broad on the other night. Yeah, I've got a few books left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was so old she shouldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old Manuel here spends it on hooch than let it sit there gathering dust for an hour or two. Years before she bites it. Damn right! <laughs> well then, get us some beers, boy. Okay, left click to interact, right click to observe. Okay, let's go and, um, get, let's get a beer. Free beers over here. Where you guys from? Boston? Ilnsmoth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me some beers. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folk are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Free beers. Please? That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. Okay. I guess this might be the owner of his establishment. He was giving the look. Okay. How do I give him money? I gotta give him some cash. Um. How do I give him money? Three minutes later. Oh, we are. We are. Cash. I have to go at the top. There we go. Sorry about that. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. Gosh darn it, the barrel is dry! I'm gonna have to roll up a new one, sit tight. Sigh. Did you eat dinner yet? I swear, we set a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't do much as a blink. The boy's been affected. You been taken to Dark Reeves? He'll get the, to the bottom of it. Well, he's here only acting strange since his run in that old fellow the other night. I should have let the boy out so late. What happened? You know that very old man, a former sea captain of some sort? You see him around town, pays for his groceries in gold and doubloons. I've heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. I heard he talks to two bottles of the line on the table in his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. Yeah, a most particular chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach Dicky a bit of respect. So what happened was Dicky was through at Stone and. So what happened? So oh okay, this he's telling the story, so it's not. So what? So what happened was Dicky threw a stone at his window, you see, and the old man caught him in the act, gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dicky won't talk about what exactly happened. Oh dear. He's a stupid boy going around throwing stones through old folks' windows, and well, they aren't going to be happy, no matter how feeble they are. I've told him he's not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. He must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using gold coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captain clipper ships in the east. On cannibal years back, and brought back untold treasures. Sorry, sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Thanks. Thanks. I seem like a dick. Boys, you're not gonna believe it. 
You got a dude with the broad? He wishes. I think we've got ourselves a job tonight. Well, spit it out then. I heard those two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich he pays for things with gold doubloons. Hook! Gold doubloons? Yeah. He's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile old fart. <laughs> he sounds like a cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got on offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Well, where's the old man's house then? I don't know, they didn't say. Find out then, Zanuck. Find out that we may f be rich tonight. Say, fellas, what was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed he is. Shovels over his red that's a red Shovels about with his cane dropping gold all over the show. Where does the old man live? Sounds along the coast a Cromley Nation pile of his too. One of those oldest houses in Kingsport, I adventure. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking about visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? A treasure hunter, are you? No. No. Good, the last thing we need in this town is outside. It's bringing their wayward criminal ways with them. So why would you want to know his address? Why would she, we trust you to outsiders? Which we wish to interview him for the local paper. We found something that belongs to him and wish to return it. Shall we turn... We're from the tax department. He owes us money. And surely you would have his address on file. Get lost. Oops. Um. Eight minutes and twenty-four seconds later. Oh, here we go. I'm a journalist. Whoa, a big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say, you write for the paper. Yes, the Kingsport Daily Star. Interesting. Now get lost. Okay. Now I can actually say where I'm from. I spoke to the lady. There we go. Yes. Nonsense. It's the truth. We are journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. It, might, it sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of explanation, treasure and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you. This is getting annoying now. The old man lives up Water Street. His property backs into Ship Street, near the shore. Thanks, I appreciate it. Let's go. Fellas, I've got the address. Good work, Zanny boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on the Ship Street by the harbour. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. Just a few blocks away. Zanuck, you take the car. Silver and I will go on foot and meet you at the place. It's better we drive separately. Nice plan. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. Later that evening. Oh my god. Alright, we were all here. What's the plan, boss? Silver, you and I will go through here at this gate. Zenek, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything, though, looks like there's a light up there. Zenek, can you have a better look? We've got to make sure he ain't watching us. Too far away, I ain't climbing up there. Okay. What's this stone? The stones are on the other side of the wall. I ain't going there. Street lamp. Automobile. Can I go over here? No. Okay. Let's go through the gate. What about this pile? I can't see what's in the window. I've got a spyglass someplace. Did you say I've got a spyglass? Okay, maybe it's in the trunk. Yeah, the trunk. Yeah. There might be one in here. The trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Car key. Trunk. Car key. Trunk. Doesn't fit. 
Where's the freaking key then? I need a key. Who has the key? Don't tell me you lost the goddamn key, Zenek. No, no. Have you got it, please? Silver. You got the key for the trunk? Oh, balls, I do. Here you go. Thanks. Nice. Let's get in the trunk. What are you going to do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk. I'm going to get a spyglass. Ha. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god! Someone's in the someone's in the freaking room. Oh dear. I don't want that anymore. I don't need it. Let's have a look. Oh, oh look at him. He's in there. The silly old fool looks like he's the easiest target we've ever had. Good luck, Zenek. He really is talking a bunch of old bottles. As long as we are quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He's engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Pathetic! We got our masks then? Yes, I do. Here you go. They're the masks. Take them. Here's the masks. Okay, get the gate open. Okay. Nice noise effect. That was a bit loud. Ha! We're in! Good work, Zanuck. Okay, Silver. Let's go in. How are we going to play it, boss? The old sea dog might not know too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him talk. That's if the gold is even hidden. If he is as senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to. The screams of an old man can easily be muffled. Silver, we've hit the nail on the head. Zanuck, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at the most. Sounds like a plan, Ricky. Uh-oh. Remember, be gentle. This isn't going to go well. Oh my god! The old man's gone! We're gonna die! One hour later. What the heck is taking them so long? What happened? They better not have knocked the old fella off. I told them, I told them, I said don't go too hard on the old goat. Ah, here they come. Oh shit! Run! 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 Start the car! make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talked all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels which the tide washed in. Holy crap! Okay! And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. Okay. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved. And when one is aged and feeble, 
one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring than the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Okay. I got wrecked. I can see my foot's come off. Oh my god. The old man did that to me. Jesus. Well, good job, guys. That was a really nice uh, short game. Pretty spooky. They're the cri Made in 30 days in March 2015. I wouldn't be able to do that in 30 days. Uh, that's probably why it's... Um, that's probably why it's so short. But it was good. It was good. Um, I don't know what that picture was. But if you enjoyed the game, guys, I'll put the link in the description below. Really hope you've enjoyed this little let's play of the terrible old man. It was, it was fun. Um, lots of love, guys. And I'll see you all next time.